What's going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, for anybody who goes ahead and celebrates Christmas, or even if you don't celebrate Christmas, regardless, you get a day off of work or even a day off of school or something of that sort, I hope you guys had an amazing day yesterday. Now, for those who don't know, I record all my videos the day before. So this commentary right here, technically, while I'm recording it, it is still Christmas. And I got to say, my day was really good. I got to relax, kick back with some family and friends. I live streamed for a very short time. It was nothing crazy. But we will be starting up the regular regular live streams to day, meaning the next day after Christmas, of course. Like I said, it's, it's so confusing for me personally doing these commentaries and trying to, you know, make sure my times are correct. It's it's really strange, but I find a way to do it at least every once in a while. But I will be picking up my live streams once again today, regular times, regular schedule, regular games, and all that good stuff. If you guys want to be a part of that, the Twitch link to that stuff is down in the description. And also, I want to stray away from the typical gameplays that I've been showing on this channel. I have not showed you guys Splitgate in ages and I thought eh, why not now compared to never right but ladies and gentlemen today we're going to be talking about the future of the Call of Duty franchise and honestly it is not looking like a very bright future at all now I know I have not been discussing anything going on with Call of Duty Vanguard in a minute but it's a reason that I don't do so and that's because I just simply don't play the game if you've been watching my channel for a long time you've heard me say this in the past if I don't play something, I can't talk about it. I know other people can, and I know it's not impossible to do, but it's just something that's really annoying about myself that I just can't push myself to do, you know? If I don't have any experience, and if I don't, you know, see it with my own eyes or play with it and, you know, actually feel the pains that others are feeling, I can't commentate about it. I'm not going to have any passion about it, you know? So, at the end of the day, I don't talk about it. But what I'm going to be discussing today, I don't think I need any playtime in Call of Duty to tell you what's going to be happening sadly in the future for call of duty now for those of you who are new to the whole call of duty scene if, or if you just haven't played call of duty in a long time warzone has pretty much completely taken over ever since Modern Warfare 2019 has come out every call of duty game hasn't really felt the same and what i mean by this is that every 6v6 experience is basically it's half-assed. That's basically the more of the story. Every 6v6 game nowadays is half-assed. It's a cash grab to go towards Warzone. They introduce new guns, they introduce new skins, they introduce new grinds in these brand new games. But the games are boring. You're going to get tired of them in 10 minutes. But if you want that content in Warzone, their more popular game mode, you have to purchase the $60 product. And Activision knows this. They know people are going to go out of their way to purchase that game just to get, you know, in-game content for Warzone. And guess what? Because of that, they refuse to make sure their games are released complete and functional. I've been saying this for a long time, and it's also a saying that I go by as well. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. It's super simple, but seriously, it is, it is probably one of the strongest meanings out there because it's true. That is what Call of Duty is doing right at this moment. They are putting all of their eggs in one basket. That is Call of Duty Warzone. They are just completely destroying their 6v6 side of things. With the expectations that if Warzone flops, the 6v6 side will still be there. The player base who, you know, enjoy the old school Call of Duty style will still be there and enjoying it. When in reality, they are pushing their player base further and further away every single title that is released and of course their player base is growing because warzone is so outstanding it brings in insane amount of players and it also brings in a lot of money but those new players how long are they going to last what's going to happen when warzone finally dies out and then they have to you know fall back to plan b their 6v6 side and they're all gone as well but now it seems like Activision is finally about to learn. When they released this map and they started putting in all these updates, including the freaking Krampus update, which was just stupid in my personal opinion, especially in Warzone, a game mode that's about, you know, really playing cautiously and not pushing every single, you know, person that possibly shoots their gun 24-7 and to be the last man standing, to be chased by Krampus every five seconds is really obnoxious. There's so many things that are broken within Warzone right now. And you got, like I said, you guys think that 6v6 is bad and, you know, obviously all their time is going towards Warzone. They can't even get that game mode prioritized and, you know, up and running correctly. Things are going so bad right now that major names in the Twitch industry, YouTubers and stuff like that, uh, professional players, people are just straight up leaving this game and going back to things like Fortnite or Apex Legends. Uh, a lot of people switched over to Halo, especially for their competitive scene. People are leaving COD. Literally, 
Esports for Call of Duty is dying. Every esports player, like I said, got up and went straight over to the Halo esports scene. Warzone, once again, dying. Some of the top streamers like Nick Merckx is just straight up leaving, and he's also encouraging a bunch of Call of Duty players as well to follow in his tracks. And what's even funnier to me is that I completely forgot Dr. Disrespect, I made a video about this a little while ago, is making his own development team with one of the OG developers, Robert Bowling, from the classic Modern Warfare days. I believe Modern Warfare 3 and possibly Modern Warfare 2. I think it was Modern Warfare 3, but still, regardless, a fantastic Call of Duty game are combining forces to make their own FPS shooter, which will be massive competition, once again, for Call of Duty as well. Every FPS game out there, you know, Battlefield, Call of Duty, doesn't matter, but still, at the end of the day, it's going to be more competition. So when you have all these players leaving, all these influencers leaving, massive names in the industry and also, you know, past developers working together to make their own games, Call of Duty is in a really big trouble because like i said once warzone goes away if warzone dwindles if warzone completely dies out they don't have backup all they have done is neglect the multiplayer side of things for years now neglect what everybody has been asking for and begging for now sledgehammer games has probably listened to the community the best i gotta be honest modern warfare and black ops cold war it was a pretty rough and bumpy ride trying to get the correct fixes to those titles but sledgehammer games pretty much everything the community complained about in modern warfare 2019 has been resolved now does that make it a fantastic game no not by any means but it does mean that you know sledgehammer is partially listening i guess to a certain degree but even with all those fixes the game is bugged to death i can't even play vanguard i tried to play on christmas day for about i'll say 30 minutes to an hour it was horrifying the packet bursts the lag the stutters the rubber banding it felt like battlefield 2042 when it first launched it was horrifying and to think vanguard has been out for a long time now and these issues still haven't been you know talked about i'm, I'm like i said i'm planning on making commentary about that as well but i just had to mention that Vanguard isn't even that amazing. Where is Activision going to land now? Where is Call of Duty going to thrive? And as a hardcore Call of Duty fan, it really hurts to see the downfall of this franchise. And I know a lot of people are coming into my channel very new and you don't know what games I enjoy the most. A lot of people think I'm hardcore for, you know, Battlefield, which I am. I love Battlefield. Don't get me wrong. Battlefield is one of my favorite FPS games out there. But I've been playing Call of Duty since Call of Duty 2, the big red one. I am a hardcore Call of Duty fanboy. I love this franchise to death. And it's just so depressing to see the direction this game is currently taking. And everybody always tells me, oh, it's just nostalgia. Oh, you're just forgetting what the past is like. But I play these games all the time. It's nothing new. I play Modern Warfare 2. I play Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, Call of Duty 4, World at War. I play them all. You know, PC servers are constantly active. You can find people 24-7, even lobbies without cheaters. And it's a blast. I can play Call of Duty World at War much, 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 much longer than I could ever play Call of Duty Vanguard for. And World at War has no content, no, you know, attachments, no camos to grind for, nothing. It's bare bone. But just the atmosphere of the game and the passion from the developers who are designing it is enough for me to continuously play it. Trust me, it's not nostalgia. It's the lack of passion these developers have nowadays behind these games because all of these titles, I think Modern Warfare 2019 probably had the most passion behind it. I could see the direction Infinity Ward was trying to take and even though I didn't enjoy it, I can understand the decisions that they were trying to make for themselves. Everybody else, I can't see it. Black Ops Cold War completely half-assed. I felt no passion. Vanguard, once again, completely half-assed. No passion, but they definitely made up for it with all the content. I think that's their way of, you know, calming everybody down was really 16 maps and a bunch of weapons and attachments and stuff to grind for. And then, you know, obviously, like I said, they don't care about the rest of it. All of this stuff was added into the game for one reason and one reason only. Warzone. That is where all the passion is behind. When these developers are making these 6v6 Call of Duty games, they're not thinking of how to make it the best, you know, Call of Duty game ever. They're thinking of how they can develop this game to work behind Warzone. And that right there is... <laughs> 
I, I truly think that's going to be the downfall of this whole franchise. But ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like if I hate it. Leave a dislike. Also, if you're brand new, enjoy the content. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button. Also, if you want to chat me this two ways to do so, I have a Twitter and a Discord. Both of those are down in the description. And also, if you want to catch me live streaming some video games or do it for on Twitch. Link that's in the description as well. But guys, thanks so much for tuning in. See you all next one. Peace out.